Good morning and welcome back. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the Love You Forever Nocta Air Force One, Drake's latest collab with Nike. I mean, it's just a white Air Force One, or is it? straight from the Nocta website and they were actually sitting for a bit so super easy cop. I guess people weren't too sold on the premium Air Force idea. The standard off-the-shelf Air Force retails for $110 and these ones will run you $160 or if you're paying resale in the $180 to $210 range. So you're paying an extra $50 to $90 than you would a standard pair. Is it worth it? Let's find out. Clean box just in time for the holiday season. Look at that gold foil Love you forever. Oh, thanks. Shut up, not you. All right, so the first thing you'll notice with these is they come with a little extra something. Literature. <laughs> Love you forever by Robert Munch. Munch. This is Aubrey's favorite book from when he was a kid. And as you can see here, Nike couldn't help themselves. A fat swoosh in there. Nike, just do it. Ah, ah. I was more of a hungry caterpillar guy myself, but this is still cool. Also, probably where most of that extra $50 went towards making these books. Straight up though, this story is so sad. Just made me want to hug my mom. Hug your moms. Do it. Or I'm gonna do it for you. Now for the sneakers. Oh my god. You guys, that's crazy. You won't believe what Drake put on my sneakers. Anus boy! Alright, All right, that's not funny. I'm sorry. Let's, uh, let's take a closer look at these. Straight off the bat, they feel a lot better than a normal pair of forces. You can see the tumbled leather, very soft. They'll probably start creasing on the first wear. Not too much really changed visually, only a few small details here and there. On the toe cap, the perforation holes are in that Nocta pattern now. Got some alternating big and small holes in this sort of sunburst pattern. Subtle. These did come with some nice options for the laces. We have the standard laces that you can put the little letter beads on and another set of laces with metal aglets. You already know how I feel about the metal aglets. So good. Sadly, you can't fit the beads on the laces. The circumference of the metal is a bit too big for the beads to go over. So if you want to rock the beads, you're going to have to go with the standard laces. They do give you the entire alphabet and numbers 0 through 9. You can make any words you want as long as they don't have repeating letters. That's why I was forced to do anus boy. I mean, that's why Nike put anus boy on my sneakers. The beads also fit on any standard laces, so you could even use these on another pair of sneakers you have. It's like a friendship bracelet for your kicks. Throwing it back to middle school. Now for my favorite part, these have a smooth leather sock liner like the Casina Dunks. On foot, it makes them feel like you got your money's worth. A very premium feel on foot. At the bottom, on the inside, we have a sky blue insole with a Nocta at the heel. See, I wish they used this color somewhere on the upper of the shoe instead of keeping it all white. Anything. Make the embroidery at the heel sky blue, maybe a bit on the tongue. I think that's why Drake's sneaker collabs never really pop off. Nothing sets his apart from everything else. Like with Travis, you know it's his sneaker. It's like, yup. It's clear. Straight up. He made the reverse swoosh like his. With Drake's, it's just like any other one of Nike's special projects they're constantly pumping out. It's hard to differentiate. I feel like he hasn't built up a signature identity behind his sneakers. All right, moving to the heel. We have Nike Air on the right one and Nocta on the left. Are those shooting stars? What are those? Yeah, if he made this thread sky blue, I'm just saying. The stitching is very clean though. Also, the leather goes crazy on these. Now for the midsole, chonky. We have the classic thick Air Force One midsole. On the lateral side of the sneaker, the usual Air now says, love you forever. Aw. That's actually pretty sweet. Wait a minute. Damn, son. Boom, fixed your shoe. Tried to color match it as best I could. I think it looks nice. I could probably do even more, but um, sometimes if you go a little too far, it ruins the sneaker, so I'm gonna stop there. And for the outsole, we have the usual Air Force One traction pattern. Very cool detail on the outsole is the little tread knobs on the front and the back are actually a bunch of little hearts. 
so you know you're a certified lover boy. Side note, if you flip the shoe upside down, they turn into a bunch of nut sacks, which is also pretty cool. The materials are definitely a step up, just all around much nicer, especially the leather sock liner. I love that. All the other details are super subtle though. So overall, it is a little difficult to tell these apart from a standard pair. The only thing really separating them, or that stands out, is the beads. So was Anus Boy worth the extra $50? Of course. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not actually gonna walk around with Anus Boy on my sneakers. <laughs> Uh, maybe I will. Okay, well, that is all. That is all for this one. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Kiki, do you love me? No, I'll never ever let you eat food.